It's OBT time! Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. And in this video we're going to be checking out the Orange Baboon Tarantula, aka the Orange Bitey Thing. So, let's go ahead and check out this infamous tarantula within our hobby. Okay, so here we have the Orange Baboon Tarantula, or Terranoculus marinus. Uh, now these do go by other common names, such as the Orange Bitey Thing, um, <clears throat> which you may have uh, heard it called that. And also the Mombasa Golden Star, best tarantula as well. As well. Um, or just OBT for short. <clears throat> now these guys are absolutely stunning tarantulas. Um, I have two. This is one that I actually rehomed uh, a few years ago. And it was given to me uh, by someone who basically just you know gave up basically their collection, and this one uh, came along with it. And this was my first ever OBT. And before that, you know, you hear all the kind of the horror stories if you like about OBTs about how how aggressive they are. You know, they're called orange bitey fiend. They'll leap back in the in defense postures and try and bite you, slap the ground, this and the other. And well, my experience has been the complete opposite. Uh, with the OBTs, yes, they can be quick at times. Um, yes, they can be offensive. Um, I don't actually like to call these aggressive uh, whatsoever. Um, but I find if you give them enough space for them, then they can be really nice, calm tarantulas to keep. And both of mine have uh, proven that they've both been really, really calm. Look with me, I've reared one up from Sling. Uh, this one I didn't, but my other one I, I have. And yeah, when I go into the enclosure, as you can see here, I can get fairly close to them, and, so, and the you know they don't really necessarily move too much, um, and, so, and if they do, they'll calmly go down into their burrow or into a hide or something uh, to get away from me. So, so the orange balloon tarantula comes from kind of across Africa, Angola, uh, right down to southern Africa, and right around to eastern Africa as well. And depending on what part of Africa they come from will depend on sort of their kind of sort of colour form and what colours they are because they do vary a little bit. So you do have things like the typical colour form, the red, the orange, the dark and the brown. It does depend on what country uh, they come from. Look, now in terms of keeping these guys, um, I find that once they're, you know, as slings they like it, it's like, you know, a bit of humidity in there uh, just with all slings. But as you get older, uh, give them less. <laughs> Uh, humidity I keep mine actually fairly dry um, as adults <laughs> um, so basically kind of topsoil with a bit of coir in there mixing some some sand and stuff uh, I do give them a water bowl which I like to keep topped up at all times for them and then various things to web up so bits of cork bark give some areas where if they can kind of climb with so so you choose basically keep them kind of what we call semi arboreal which means they'll come a little bit off the ground but also give them areas to borrow as well if they so choose then as they get older so sort of adults really don't need feeding all that much so this particular one um, literally I see out once in a blue moon it's once every few months um, and this was the first time I really saw it out in its full glory so I can get some footage of it so that is the infamous OBT okay guys so that was the orange baboon tarantula OBT what do you guys think they are absolutely stunning they are for me, one of the most beautiful tarantulas uh, you probably keep, really. Uh, I currently have two. And so, uh, I believe one's a yeah, red colour form and one's a Usambara. And so, one I see out more than other than the other one. And so, one I've re up from a sling and one I kind of rehomed it, basically. Um, so, I didn't want it anymore. And so, um, but they're absolutely fantastic. And so, and they are, for me, not what... You know, you, they're always made out to be. They're always made out to be kind of the big bad guys of the tarantula world. You know, all OBTs, you can scary, this and the other. And I find you give them enough space and you give them the respect they deserve, and they're absolutely fine. Um, both of mine, I pretty much never get threat responses from. Um, the only time one of them ever has ever given me a threat pose is when I was taking it out of the enclosure. It came in, which was a bit naff, um, far too small for it, and so. And um, yeah, it gave me a bit of a frank posture then, but nothing that wasn't easily dealt with. And so, and since then, ha they've both been absolute kind of darlings, really. You know, if they are out and about and I'm doing any kind of service in there, kind of their maintenance, they can't just go either into their, their hidey areas, their burrows, or whatever. And so, 
and they tend to be incredibly calm spiders and so they don't tend to just flip themselves on their back uh, whenever I open them up and so and that's my experience anyway with uh, with the species now there are a couple of you know other kind of um, colour forms potentially subspecies and stuff um, literally I've just got the two and they're the only two um, that I've had and so and that I've reared up and stuff. so you know obviously take this you know experience with uh, sort of a pinch of salt your experience may be different to mine and so um but guys if you did enjoy this video please do give it a thumbs up pop some comments down below and if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time i upload another video but until next time guys thank you for watching take care and keep rocking